you know, MRIs, x-rays, CT scans. Nowadays, they need to come with the caveat of using it as just a data point and not the data point when it comes to trying to diagnose an injury. You know, 2015, where they looked at asymptomatic populations, so people without any symptoms. And within my age group in particular, uh, people in their 40s, 68% had disc degeneration, 50% had signal loss, 50% uh, had a bulge, 33% had a protrusion or a herniation. And in some cases, uh, while an MRI can be useful, you know, sure, it, they can be. And I think. It just shows one, how resilient we are and how resilient our body can be, but more how adaptable we are than we think and how much stronger we are than we think and that we can walk around with disc bulges and disc protrusions and lift heavy and still do the things we wanna do. Our body's incredibly capable of making adjustments in real time to injuries that we might sustain and surgery is not always the answer. And in fact, oftentimes we look to scans as a way to validate how we're feeling, but more importantly, it can be used as a reason to get surgery when we might not need it in the first place. And sometimes conservative management might be a better option because in the end, surgeries and more invasive treatments are always gonna be an option. But if we can maximize the conservative care and get better conservatively, it doesn't mean that that invasive procedure isn't an option in the future. It just gives us more options and more opportunity to keep growing and keep getting stronger.